guys all behind one boat. Watch now as they perform the five man front flip. This sport has been around for years and years and years. It's called show skiing. And what happens is, is people have, they, they climb together, they work together, they put on a an exhibition, they put on a show, they put on a small theatrical play on the water. And they, every show has its own theme, and each show that has its own theme, they have different characters, they dressed up in different costumes, different outfits, and they have fun doing what they're doing. Two guys on the outside, put your hands together for the gainer. Flip, flip, gainer. It is scored by the judges. They have a difficulty level. They have a, uh, a spectator appeal level. They have a boat driving level. Everything has different aspects of it and how they're used. Uh, my older brother actually met a girl at high school. She took him out on the lake. He likes skiing a lot. Joined the team together. We saw him and we're like, that's my big brother. I want to do what he's doing. Sure enough, we ended up jumping into the sport and we loved it ever since. Is this a growing sport? I would say it's a growing sport. Uh, we are working very hard to get more publicity as far as, you know, going on the internet and, and sharing it everywhere so people can see it. A lot of people really don't know about it. They know more about the slalom and the three event. Show skiing, however, is a little under the radar, so we're hoping to bring it up definitely in a bigger pr perspective. Yeah, it's first time outside of the U.S., which is pretty exciting. Uh, the three previous ones were all held in Wisconsin, the first two in Janesville and then the last one in Wisconsin Rapids, which both those sites have years and years of experience of putting on the tournaments, so very developed sites and everything. So when you go to their tournaments, they already know what they're doing. Um, and uh, But here we had to build out the whole infrastructure. Like for instance, this site here, which uh, people probably know that there's all these bouncy stuff and all that water park stuff out there. The docks are not configured the way we needed to. So we actually had to take all that out, reposition docks. We got barges all over the place that are anchored. We had to build the stage and the landing ramps and bring in all these jumps. So there's a lot that went into making this uh, what I would consider to be a world-class uh, show ski site. We figure if it goes global, it'd be a lot easier to make it show up everywhere. The more places we can hit, the more locations we can touch, we will get that much more people who don't know about skiing to learn it and see it and get interested in it in hopes of bringing in maybe more people, more teams, more countries. So that's basically what we're about.